Welcome back to another video, Kiss Electrical. Today I'm gonna to just kind of discuss with you just a little bit how to rough in a garage. Now, in this garage, we have receptacle heights that have to be at a specific height in this garage. Now, the last time I read the code, it just said 18 inches. Now, that is like a loaded question because it doesn't say 18 to the bottom, 18 to the center, 18 to the top, it just says 18. But what I like to do is I like to put my receptacles at 24 inches to the bottom. You can do them right here at 24 inches to the bottom and I do it all the way around. So I just do basically one on each, each wall because there's really no specific amount of uh, receptacles that you have to put in here. Um, here's another one. And then as far as lighting is concerned, um, I put the switches, according to this builder, he wanted the switches just inside this door for the garage, which is fine. Uh, we have a uh, our wire, our lower voltage wire here for the garage door, because it's gonna be an electric garage door. And now with the um, these garage doors going DC, uh, motors which are real quiet they don't use a whole lot of uh, amperage and things like that to, to work um, so uh, a lot of people like to put their switches for the attic access out here um, I don't do that because what happens is when homeowners come in uh, they forget why this switch doesn't work the garage lights so I always put it at the top of the landing as soon as you come in to the uh, attic access right here. Now, uh, back to the lighting in here, we only have two lights that we put in and we can put in uh, whatever the contractor wants us to put in, but we're wired up for uh, four footers or whatever. And the reason why we only do just the two in here all closer to the interior of the garage is because the garage door is gonna open and when the garage door opens, it will block the light. So remember that when you're roughing in your garage, uh, unless you're gonna need light with the garage door closed, then I can understand why you may wanna put it one or two more over closer to the exterior of the garage. Now, one other thing I wanna touch base with is the the garage door. This is a standard garage door, about seven, eight foot garage door. They're gonna put in, I don't know the exact measurements, but this one is uh, close to 88 inches, which is uh, seven foot, uh, four inches. And the way to uh, measure out the receptacle that you need for that, if you can get a shot here, I was always trained to come off of this center, go back 11 foot and then go straight up and then you'll hit where you need to put the receptacle and that will allow you to be out of the way of the motor because they have to support the, uh, the motor with all the brackets and how they lay it in there. And that's always been a good measurement to uh, to put the receptacles and also put your low voltage wiring because of the photo eyes that go on the each end of uh, the garage door. So it's basically one of those little safety features if something is in the way, then uh, the door will either stop or it won't come down all the way and stuff like that. And uh, that's basically how you rough in a garage door and some things that you may need to consider while doing your uh, garage and uh, thank you for watching and have a good day